Grundfos, we work a lot with robotics and also with bots. Uh, we have, among others, robots in finance helping us out with uh, monthly closing, uh, which is giving a lot of opportunities for the colleagues to do other things. We also work with bots when it comes to knowledge sharing. So here we're utilizing some of the service technicians that we have and the knowledge they have to embed that into the bots, train the algorithms and thereby give knowledge to other colleagues. As part of this transformation that we are going through, we have to hire new colleagues. We simply need to bring in people with new skill sets. At the same time, and I think that's just as important, we have to lift every employee in the organization. And that's regardless of you working in operations, or if you're working in marketing, or you're, you're working in our IT department. All of us have to increase our skill set. So for us, it's important that we can make a combination of new colleagues, meet also uh, some of the former colleagues that we have, or you could say existing colleagues we have, because they carry the knowledge. So coming into a new company, learning the ins and outs, learning about the products, the services, the history, the culture of the company, you still need to have a legacy base. And the big question is, can you take the legacy and then really lift them upwards? That's what we aim to do. As part of attracting new talents, for us it's not just one group of people we need to get in, for example AI, it's also the data scientists, it's the uh, guys and girls with the experience around user experience that we need to get in. So it's a vast majority of different competencies. What's still very important is not to get stuck on the technology part and say we need all of these skill sets because at the end of the day it's still about creating business. If you don't develop products, solutions and services that are attractive to your customers and end users, it doesn't really matter. Then it just becomes a question about technology. In Grundfos, I wish we could say that it's the entire company that's driving our digital transformation. That's at least our ambition. We would like to transform the company from within and then let it be driven outside in, learning much more about our customers' needs and our end users' needs. Today we have a team located in our former electronic factory and here we work with digital offerings and we also work with digital solutions across the organization. Some of these colleagues are then put into separate teams in the organization where they can help uh, solve specific problems. I think, they could, I think bots could be viewed as something that could pose a threat to employment. Right now I don't think they will. I think they still need a lot of training and I can see that employees can gain a lot from also learning from bots so they can actually increase their own knowledge sharing and own knowledge capacity by utilizing bots. So right now, I don't think they're a threat. That's a really good question if machines and humans can meet halfway. I think they always have somehow. We have always used some kind of machine or tool to do our job and I think we'll still see that. It will take some time before algorithms can identify a cat even a two-year-old girl can identify a cat, right? Both in three dimension, but also from a picture. And uh, algorithms and robots cannot quite do that yet. So we still have some things to do to make the robots as adequate as we are as humans. I think it's important that we work across industries and I think it's important that we cross collaborate on key matters that, ha that are important to humanity. Uh, we in Grundfos, for example, are collaborating with Novo Symes, where we're trying to solve some of the biggest water challenges in the world. And we cannot do that on our own. We simply have to work across the industries to make that happen. I think that the cross-industrial work will change business models in different industries. And I also think we'll see new type of companies emerge from these cross-collaboration. And that is, of course, the question that all leaders are looking at right now. Will we become the obsolete company or will we be the leading company in what we do? And here I think companies have to look at themselves. Where can they be true drivers of the ecosystems and where can they be really good con contributors into the ecosystems? No doubt new business models will emerge. I think some of the challenges working across uh, industries and also developing new business models is what then belongs to me. What will make us as a company unique? Uh, if we look at some of the Danish companies, what really differentiates us from the rest is our solid ability to deliver hardware, for example, different hardware products. So now that we start in, uh, venturing into new ecosystems, what will be our edge? And I think all leaders are concerned about that. Will we become obsolete? So to defend ourselves, we protect ourselves. And in reality, what we do now is we need to open up because that will be the way to defend ourselves. In Grundfos, we have identified five new corporate digital capabilities that we need. One of them is about digital engineering. 
So how do we truly embed digital into the hardware products that we have today? Those are some of the things that we are looking at.